how how much amount of currency can I carry, and what is the best way to 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 carry currency as well? Sure. Before we may shed some light. So uh, you know, uh, in a given year, an RBI and FEMA regulations say that depending on the purpose for which you're going. So if you're going for a leisure trip on a vacation, like you mentioned, yeah. you can take up to ten thousand dollars in a year. So if you're doing two trips, you can take five five thousand dollars. If you're going for business, you can take twenty-five thousand dollars per trip. Okay. So there are different, uh, you know, limits based on the purpose for which you're going, and these vary very by the forex firm. And typically, we recommend either banks or authorized, you know, dealers is what you should buy it from. Okay. And in terms of how do you carry forex, you know, increasingly we are seeing the forex cards, yeah. which are prepaid cards that the consumers can take in India and convert their rupees into, let's say, a dollar or a euro, is the safest mode of carrying currency. Uh, forex compared to let's say carrying a currency or a traveler's check so if you lose currency notes you know you're stranded yeah, yeah. if you take a traveler's check a you have to spend more in in cashing it yeah. if you lose it you can't get it in time but forex prepaid cards give you a a lock forex exchange rate so you know that you're converting a rupee 60 rupees to a dollar and not being dependent on what that local guy in your for destination abroad will charge you will charge you 62 which are 64 you don't know So you can plan based on your expenses how much forex you want to take, okay. and that's you know emerging as the best method of carrying at least 85% of your forex requirements when you go abroad. Okay, interesting that you mentioned it that 85%. So is that a rule that you carry uh, X amount in cash and Y amount in in any other form? Uh, uh, so what, what is your experience uh, about this? So our experience has been seen now. The forex cards are accepted everywhere. These are Visa or Master denominated cards, and so they are accepted across all ATMs, all locations. Even a cab accepts it. But typically, you know, given our Indian consumer mindset, it's we feel safer if you have some amount of currency notes. Yeah. So we normally recommend between 10 to 15%. So take it with you in cash or in currency notes, but remaining take as forex prepaid cards. And the beauty of forex prepaid card, especially the ICICI Bank forex prepaid card, is sitting over there. You can you know reload it from your ICICI Bank account through okay. you know a remote mechanism. Okay. So that is something that is good, and consumer can you know then choose to load it again and again. Okay, that's wonderful. So you 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 can uh, have an option of you know even topping up or loading it. Uh, whilst you are in another country, and don't need to worry about carrying the entire amount uh, there. 